Hello guys, today we're going to talk about the uh, USGI poncho and my poncho liner and then uh, this is going to be two parts so in the second part we're going to talk about my uh, USGI modular sleep system and I'll share some of my background from the time I was in the military so I hope you guys will like this story review and uh, yeah let's go basic benefits of a poncho is that it's of course protection from rain, wind, snow and it's also very roomy, it's very ventilating compared to normal rain clothes where you would get really really warm. Here you can just like lift it up and get some new fresh air. The reason why I chose a military one is because of the quality, it's obviously a little bit more durable I would say but it's also a multi-use item which I will display in just a couple of seconds here. And of course I like this uh, camo pattern as well. Besides only providing cover for yourself, it also provides cover uh, for your gear. I can just throw it back like this, put it on myself and just see if I can do a little bit like this, I think. And then it's completely on your whole body and you can just easily adjust it like this and then you're good to go. And it comes with a hood like this. You have a strap here, you can just tighten up real, real good. And on the inside here you have ropes, you can tie it tightly around your body when you're walking. On the sides here you have uh, little buttons, you can snap it together like that and then you have your arms protected from the wind and rain as well. So that pretty much sums up the uh, wearable part of this poncho. Let's go to the second part where we take it off and use it as a shelter. This is where the poncho becomes really valuable. When it turns into a uh, shelter for two people, if you don't mind getting cozy, uh, you have protection here from wind, rain. You can, of course, modify this. There is tons of setups that you can look online of how you can put this up. I just put it, put it up now like an easy lean-to. Uh, if you just want some minor protection, if it's a sunny day like this, you can also just raise it up and use it as a roof. So what you will need to do this is some cordage. Uh, on top here I used a little bit lighter cordage because you don't want to get strangled or anything when it's dark so you can easily see this. And then you will use or you will need some uh, tent stakes like this one just to uh, connect the poncho in the ground and then you're all set. It's a lightweight, very mod mod modifiable solution, really simple to use, it's uh, durable, it's yeah, to me it's really hard to beat. I'm 181 centimeters tall, so uh, this is what it looks like for me. Uh, there's also more loops and buttons here, so you can use that too if you want to drag it down a little bit if it's really windy. Let's see if I can lay down here. You can see that this is good enough protection. You will stay dry. And of course, like I mentioned before, you can lower it down once you're going to sleep. You will have really good protection uh, from all the elements. There are so many features uh, to this poncho. I've seen people use it as a hammock. It's not what we're gonna do now. We're gonna transform it into a sleeping bag or a blanket if you like. Let's do that. So this is the poncho and liner uh, packed up neatly together. You see uh, it doesn't take up very much space at all. My head's for scale. Kotkovo! Yes! The liner is pretty Straightforward. It's a liner. You can use it as is, or you can use it together with the poncho. Uh, it's pretty warm. It will keep you warm unless you go up north, like I did. I don't know if you saw that video. If you didn't, go watch it. Uh, there is uh, some uh, cordage here in the corners where you can tie it together with the poncho, as we're going to do now. So here we go with the liner, and then we have the uh, poncho connected here on the back. As you can see, so with just like this, you could sleep uh, or lay somewhat comfortably on the ground, even in uh, wet weather. Uh, the next thing you can do with this one is that you can connect the buttons like this all the way down and uh, voila, you have a complete sleeping bag. 
you can see you're covered uh, all the way from uh, top to toe. If I want, I can still stick out my feet here, so it's ventilating as well. I'm sure there's a lot of soldiers who enjoyed sleeping in this once. When it comes to quality, this is made for uh, the grunts, so it's very, very durable. Uh, both water resistance and you know the uh, if you want to tear it apart as well. This sums up the uh, first part of the video. The second part is going to be about the MSS or the military sleep system. Stay tuned for that. See you guys there. Understand. Uh, How does it feel, man? Uh, I'm a bike.